forget the beam, forget every other job we've done in this house. This job and this episode is the hardest so far. You right down there, Ray? It's got brown here. Ah, B. It's Easter. Let's do an Easter egg hunt. Oh my God, what have we found here? What do you have, what do you have? Oh, well it's the giant Hilti TE 2022. Oh, oh my God. Got one. You got one? The Hilti SID 622. Thank you, Easter Bunny. Wait a minute, I think I found another one. Yes, I did. Scott, bunny prints. <laughs> there must, must be something here. There must have been in here. Oh, oh, oh. oh you found. <laughs> Look at that. Cordless rotary hammer. Is that the Hilti TE622? That's the TE622. <laughs> I see a little bit of... Oh my god, that must be the... What a reservoir. Ooh. Sweet. Happy days. I wonder if the Hilti AG6022... <gasps> I found it! Is that the latest? Oh, <laughs> that's a cracked egg. <laughs> <laughs> so if you haven't figured out already, today's exciting episode is about the Hilti Neuron Battery System. This is the new battery system. Concrete breaker on batteries. Kind of crazy, right? Yeah, let's see how it holds up today, because luckily we are breaking concrete. concrete. <laughs> well, I appreciate the Easter Bunny's timing, because we need to knock out these concrete stairs. Let's break some concrete. If you have been watching the channel for a while, you'll know that I don't use Hilti tools that often. In fact, I think I've used one Hilti tool in one video. And just like in that video, it's the bigger, heavier duty tools that I generally associate with Hilti. So this is the concrete saw. I appreciate this. Tool on the tool. So we're just borrowing these tools to give them a go really. This one takes two big batteries. These are all 22 volt, but they have different amp hours. This is the biggest one, 12 amp hour equivalent. And then it goes down to eight, and then the smallest one is four. So let's just start at the top, see how far this goes. So I guess for the two batteries, that would make it 44 volt, right? Is that how this stuff works? Last time we talked electricity, I got laughed at, so <laughs> I, I'm not going there anymore. <laughs> it doesn't like it when you the blade sort of angles and rubs too much on the side of the cut Ooh. you notice that it, it uh yeah it just stops so we've been going for about 20 minutes and we've used two batteries we're flashing on the last thing and it just stopped cutting it stopped working so how many meters did you cut i reckon about six meters if you add them all up yeah and they're about 100 mil deep i had to fill that up twice and that's on one battery and that battery hasn't gone down very much at all that's the water supply but I think we're really close to the hose, so now that I've tried it, I'm just gonna connect it directly to the hose. So let's chuck in a couple more batteries and see if we can get all the stairs cut up. Again. Again what? It ran out. Yeah. Yeah, okay, well, we were using these batteries on other tools, so they weren't 100% full. Yeah. Um, yeah. Smoker time. We've got four dead 12 amp batteries. One charging. I kind of need more charges, I think. Well, hopefully those batteries don't take too long to charge while we enjoy our lunch. What's on the menu today, Raymond? I have macaroni with um, a whole bunch of stuff, actually. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, he's gone to the Milwaukee. Now I know for a fact that that one is a battery sucker as well. I think that is, you just can't get around that with concrete cutters. And it's single battery. I've got a theory. I've got a theory that where we are with these high output items, these concrete saws, lawn mowers, things that take two big batteries, I feel like we are at the same place that we were with the first edition of cordless tools. So that was that battery, eh? How many cuts did you get with that? Maybe a meter and a half, two meters? So full depth, meter and a half, with one 18 volt, 12 amp battery. So when the first circular saws came out cordless, it struggled to rip timber. Like if you wanted to rip a 45 mil bit of framing, it would use up a lot of the battery and sometimes it would just stop. So a lot of people thought, oh yeah, you just can't have cordless circular saws. But I mean, you know now, I don't even have to explain that the circular saws now, they can do everything the corded ones can do. And in some cases they are more powerful. I feel like we are still at the start with these kind of tools because these need a lot of power and the irony my battery ran out just as I was talking about batteries man that is so loud We've got a graveyard of batteries collecting over here and we've set up the fan hoping that we can cool the batteries down as they charge and as they wait to be charged. But we've got another idea. There are more than just the 12 amp batteries. We've got three breakers from Hilti. The smallest one which is not up for this task because you know, we're doing big boy stuff here. And then we got the mid format that Scott was using earlier which is really is more like a hammer drill than a breaker right and then we got this uh, bad boy which really we need the big batteries for but hey we're stuck with the small ones and we're gonna see how uh, how long that lasts they're not they're not made for this so you know we're sort of going off piece there but uh, let's do it This one's pretty close. So we'll be able to use that big breaker with the big batteries. But in the meantime, let's see if we can pull up the slab. But of course we're dealing with concrete from the 1960s that's had, what, 60 years of hardening? 63. 63 years of curing time. And concrete just gets stronger and stronger. So, really? It, yeah, it's true. Stronger and stronger. Right? Stronger and stronger. Always. Always. Oh, a thousand year concrete will be oh. like um, diamond. Man, the next civilization is going to have a hard time, mate. They really are. So, in all honesty, this is probably a quarter job. And I'd probably go a step further than that and say it's probably a digger job. This would probably be a job for a digger and a trailer. They'd probably break this out in an hour or two. Let's see how long this thing lasts with two 12 amps. What's that, 25 minutes? So four hours of work, that's what we got. Whoo! Now as my batteries charge, 
and we roll over to day two. Let me first explain something that I don't think I covered in the video so far, and that is these stairs are built quite differently. So I'll explain how these stairs are different by drawing a picture of what we typically build these days. And while I'm drawing it, we might as well hear a word from our sponsors. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform for you to build your online presence and run your business. We've been using Squarespace for a couple of years now and it makes our business look good online. So whether you're selling online services, selling a product online, Squarespace has you covered. They have e-commerce tools built right into the platform which is super handy. One of the main things that are handy about Squarespace as a service is it takes all the difficult part of website building out, the coding. Just use Squarespace's built-in templates to build a professional looking website by yourself. And it's also customizable, so if you don't like something, you can change it later. It's all built into the platform. Images automatically scale to fit, so it's gonna look good no matter what device you're looking at it on. But you don't have to take my word for it. Squarespace also offers a free trial, so you have nothing to lose. And then once you're ready to launch your website, head over to squarespace.com forward slash Scott Brown Carpentry to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this episode. Now, if you look here at this image, here is the concrete, everything above this line. That's all concrete on a normal stair that we would build if I was asked to build one next week. Everything below the line would be hard fill, like gravel. And then that gives us a base to pour the concrete on top of. And then you've got steel in there to help reinforce it. But my stairs, the stairs that Ray and I are going to continue to demolish in this exciting episode, well, they've poured concrete all the way down, all the way down there, all of it. The whole thing's concrete, all the way through is concrete. So let's jump back into it, shall we? You excited to cut more concrete, Ray? I mean, we can't complain about batteries, but <laughs> like a Neanderthal here. Both sets are flat. batteries are charging but I think the fundamental issue I think the fundamental issue is it takes longer to charge the batteries than it does to use the batteries kind of need like four charges and six batteries so then you're using two and charging four <laughs> it's kind of crazy right all four of the lights are on but that doesn't mean that it's 100% ready you have to wait for all the lights to turn off and then it's 100% Breakthrough moment. So this is like pancake stairs. Concrete layer on top of concrete layer. We f***ing did it. That was insane. Should we get a digger next time? Ah, that's the fun I know. <laughs> but did you, did you show the viewers at home what we took out? There you have it. That would fill a truck easy. <sighs> Wasn't sure if we were going to get there. We pretty much used the last of those two batteries and the other ones are pretty far from charging, so that last braking was the last chance. Here you go, Raymond. Thank you. Cheers. I think we earned this one.
how on earth did those stairs and the little bit of concrete around those stairs turn into this? At least we finished the job.